Welcome to Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Aman Shah. I'm here with Dr. Matthias Preusser. Welcome, Dr. Preusser. Very happy to be here. Uh, I wanted to get a sense of how, at your institution, you would approach a patient who you're thinking about for adjuvant or neoadjuvant therapy uh, in glioblastoma. So glioblastoma, um, we have an established uh, treatment algorithm, algorithm, which we find also in international guidelines. And that does not include neoadjuvant uh, therapy at the moment, although we have seen very interesting uh, results in this regard recently. Um, what typically is done is that the patient, the patient undergoes maximum safe resection by, by neurosurgery. And after that, um, adjuvant therapy is applied, which consists of combined radiochemotherapy. So uh, the radiotherapy is combined with a chemotherapy drug called temozolomide, which is an, an, an oral uh, chemotherapy that penetrates well into the brain. And, uh, and that's, that's the usual treatment approach. Mm. In elderly patients um, who sometimes are not fit enough to undergo the full combined radiochemotherapy, there are shorter uh, regimens that can be used in some centers, particularly in, the, in Europe, there's also stratification for MGMT promoter methylation use, sometimes uh, where patients with an unmethylated MGMT promoter undergo radiotherapy alone. And when, you find, when we find an, an, a methylated MGMT promoter, chemotherapy alone is used, and that's also influencing some of our current trial designs. Uh, and do you have a preference or a system by which you decide whether to go with stereotactic radiotherapy or whole brain irradiation or what mm -hmm. modality of radiation yeah. you use? So in glioblastoma, whole brain radiotherapy is not used. That's a, a method that is mainly used in brain metastasis patients uh, or also uh, brain lymphoma. And stereotactic radiosurgery is not typically used either in the frontline setting. Sometimes it may be used in recurrent glioblastoma if there is a small uh, tumor uh, that can be targeted. But usually um, it's a conformal radiotherapy um, um, delivered in, uh, in, 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 in 32 gray fashions up to a total dose of 60 gray. And uh, is there anything about the characteristic of the tumor which might impact your decision for adjuvant therapy? Um, well, the MGMT promoter methylation status is certainly one that is uh, that is very important because it tells you something about the prognosis of the patient. Um, there are also recent data that's a, a study called the CTEC trial that has been published by Ulrich Herlinger from Bonn in Germany, where patients with an methylated MGMT promoter uh, 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 received an escalated chemotherapy, so not only temozolomide alone, but in addition, uh, lumastin, CCNU, um, uh, with the rationale to increase in these chemosensitive tumors the efficacy of therapy, and it is shown to be effective uh, in, in this, in this uh, study published in Lancet. That sounds very promising. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.